Welcome everyone. I think it's about time. I might wait a couple of minutes. Give it a few more minutes to see if more people will show up. It's craft time for our Tales, T-A-I-L-S and Tales, T-A-L-E-S, summer reading program. We are on week one. This is June 2nd. We are doing North American animals. Since we're doing our seven continents for the seven weeks of summer reading, this week is North American animals. And if you came to Story Hour yesterday, or if you came to Story Hour this morning, out at Rally Point, we had a great time. It's so nice there, nice and shady. There was a nice little breeze. Great spot to have stories. And we talked about bald eagles. We did a couple things with bald eagles. So today the craft is making the bald eagle. And if you were at the story times and you picked up the grab and go bag, you have the stuff you need to make the eagle. If you didn't come to the story hours, I have a few bags left. Not very many, but I do have a few bags left. You could pick them up yet today, tomorrow, Friday. If there's still some available, there were only a few. And then you could make the craft yourself. All right. My watch says it's about time. So it's Miss Kathy here at Sturgis Public Library. And we are going to make a flying bald eagle today. So the supplies you need, the supplies you got in your bag were two of these plastic spoons. I picked the white ones because a bald eagle's head is white. We could have used the clear spoons, you could use any other colored spoons, but he wouldn't look like a bald eagle. That's why we had the white spoon. So in your baggie, oh, I didn't bring a baggie to show you. In your baggie, in your grab and go bag, you have two white spoons. You have a marble. I don't know if you can see my little marble. Everybody has a different color marble. They could all be different colors, different sizes, but you have one marble. Oh no, I forgot my rubber band. The rubber band is one of the most important parts. You should have a rubber band and I forgot to bring a rubber band. See how it goes. I'll have to do mine without the rubber band, but you should have a rubber band. You should have a paper plate. And you should have a craft stick that has some duct tape wrapped around it. So you will be able to pull off the duct tape you need to put together. Since I forgot my rubber band, I'm gonna use duct tape instead of the rubber band. Darn. Okay, you also have the instruction sheet in your paper. So this is what our bald eagle is going to look like. And we have that marble because it says the marble is going to help make it actually fly. I have a feeling my, I, I feel like it's going to be too top heavy, too head, head heavy, and I'm not sure if it's going to fly. I have not made one yet to practice. I didn't make a preview one, so we're all doing this together. The things you didn't have in your bag that you are going to need are scissors, because you need to cut your paper plate. You are going to need either markers or crayons. I have my whole big thing of crayons or paint if you wanted to paint it. Now an eagle is brown, a bald eagle is brown with a white head and white tail feathers. So the only color I'm going to need is brown. So I got out my markers because I thought it might go quicker with a marker to be able to color in my bald eagle. So from home, you're going to need your marker or your color or your paint, and you're going to need scissors. I think those are the only things you do not have in your bag. So going back to my instructions, it says, cut the paper plate in half. I bent ours to know where to cut. I took this from, can I remember that? Oh, I can't even read. Deceptively, deceptivelyeducational.blogspot.com is where I got this craft from. So if you wanted to go on and see it, it's gonna look just like this, but I'm borrowing it from them. And she says, okay, cut the paper plate in half. I bent ours to know where to cut. Then you're going to cut one of the halves into three equal wedges like pizza slices. Decorate the half circle to look like an eagle's brown feathers with paint or markers. Keep the wedge piece white, since an adult eagle has white tail feathers 
and tape the pointy end to the back of the half circle. So we're going to start with that part. We're going to cut our paper plate in half. She said she folded it so they would know where the half point was. If you wanna do that, you can. If you wanna just eyeball it and cut, you can do that too. I cut it in half, so now I have, can you see? You probably can't see it very well. It shows me right where the half point is and I'm just going to cut right on that fold. So cutting my paper plate in half, this is going to make the wingspan. This is like the eagle has its wings spread out. It has that big wingspan. Remember their wingspan could be from 5.9 to seven feet wide. They have very large wings. This is a very baby eagle. Then it said cut the first one in half, then cut one of the halves into three equal wedges like a pizza. So I'm going to cut, this is like my middle part. I don't want to cut it in half, I want to cut it in a wedge. So I'm going to go, can you see how I'm doing that? Here's one pizza wedge, they're going to be triangles. And then I can probably cut this one in half. And here could be one of these as my eagle tail feather. I think I like this one, but I'm gonna trim it up a little bit. I don't like how I cut it. I cut it kind of goofy. There. I'm gonna pick this one. You only need one of them, so I'm gonna pick this one as my white tail feathers. I won't have to do anything more to it because the eagle's tail feathers are white, so there they are. But I do have to take my half piece, my half of a plate, and color it. And I'm gonna look, put my glasses on and look. Do you want your wings to be up or do you want them to be down? It looks like they've done it both ways. I think I want mine, when I attach it, I want the top part to be brown. If you wanted to color both sides, you certainly could. So I'm gonna start just coloring it. I'm using my marker because I thought the marker might go faster because it's a little bit bigger. Ooh, I need to put my paper over here so I don't color on the table. That's a good thing to use the instruction sheet for. Put it on the table. Just color that all in brown. It's the eagle's feathers. Now it's going to get tricky to color the edge of the paper plate. But you can do it, I know you can. Just color, color, color. You could always go back in and fill. This would have been a good part where I, if I'd have had one done ahead of time, you wouldn't have to watch me color. Painting would go pretty fast. If you had paint, you could paint it pretty fast. Ooh, I kind of like what it's doing. It's not getting down in the dips. And it kind of looks like it could be feathers. Doesn't that kind of look like feathers? I might just leave it that way. I might just leave it that way. I kind of like that. I'll fill in a couple other spots. Because eagle's feathers are brown. Bald eagle's feathers are brown. I do like that. I think I'm going to leave it. So there's my eagle's wingspan. I've colored it in brown. And I've chosen. I'm going to put my marker away now. I'm done with it. If you're still coloring, that's okay. Go ahead and color. If you're still painting, if you're trying to find the paint, go ahead. I'm gonna put my marker away now because I'm done with this one. And go back to my instructions. Read my instructions, instructions again. Cut the paper plate in half, one of the halves and three equal wedges. Decorate the half circle to look like an eagle's brown feathers. Keep the wedge piece white since an adult eagle has white tail feathers, and tape the pointy end to the back of the half circle. So here's where I need to get out my duct tape. The fun thing about duct tape is you don't need scissors to cut it. You can just tear it. So I'm gonna tear off a piece. I have my spot that I had where I could grab it. I don't want that on there, so I'm gonna tear that one off, maybe. It's also very strong, very sticky tape. It'll stick to your fingers, okay. And then my duct tape rolled over on me. Can I pull it apart? 
duct tape is very sticky. That's why it's very good. Okay, so I want to tape my white tail feathers to the back of my wings. Now I wonder, do I want it to go like that? Or do I want it to go like that? Which way do I want my tail feathers to go? I think I'm gonna turn them, I'm gonna do it, do it that way so they're both going the same direction. And then I'm just going to find my middle and I'm going to tape that on, put my duct tape on. Oh, I don't want it to be crooked. So there, I got my wings, my wings spread apart, and I got my tail feathers taped on. There we go, we got the first part of it done. Now, go back to my instructions. It says, now sandwich a marble between the bowls of the two spoons and wrap the rubber band around the neck of the spoons to hold them together. Oh, I should have my rubber band. Decorate the top of one of the spoons to look like an eagle's face, i.e. draw a triangle on the tip for a beak and put in two eyes. Now tape the spoons to the back of the eagle so the rubber band and spoon bowl face stick out. Be liberal with the tape. Don't be stingy. Don't use just a little bit of tape. Make sure you tape the spoons on well. So if you're looking at the picture, now I have to make my eagle's head with the marble and the two spoons and attach it to the body. So here's one spoon, my marble's in the bowl. I'm going to take the other spoon, put it right on top, make a sandwich. Now you notice there's going to be, his beak is going to have an opening in there and you can see the marble. My marble is big enough, it's not gonna fall out of there. That's a good thing, because I don't want it to fall out. Now is where I would take the rubber band and I would wrap it and wrap it and wrap it and wrap it around right at the edge where the two spoons come together. But since I forgot my rubber band and I don't have one handy right here, I am going to take some of my duct tape. Peel some duct tape off here. Tear it. And I'm gonna see, if you wanna try that, you can try that too, but you do have a rubber band. Oops, there goes my marble. Get back in there. You... <laughs> Maybe my marble will stay in there. You do have a rubber band to wrap around there. I'm just going to use the tape. You know what, I may be glad I have tape to get closer to the end. Wrap it around. I'm gonna wrap this around. Okay. Oh, I lost my marble. You know what? I am gonna grab some more tape. I should have checked that out before. Okay. I'm gonna rip it that way now. I don't wanna use that big fat piece, so I'm just gonna rip it down the middle and get a long piece. Okay, I am gonna wrap it around there to cover up part of that beak so my marble won't come out of there. There. Now my marble should stay in there. If you want to do that with yours, you can too, but now my beak is off center. He's got an overbite or an underbite, whichever one it is. You should have wrapped a rubber band around there, but maybe you don't want to do the rubber bands, or maybe you do want to do the rubber band and do duct tape. You can do that, because now I'm noticing my um, spoons are coming apart, and I don't think that's what I want. So I'm going to use this other piece of duct tape that I didn't wrap around there. And I'm gonna wrap it around my spoons all the way around. I'm gonna be liberal with the duct tape. I'm gonna wrap it around there and make them so they're not apart, but they're flat. <gasps> There's part of my eagle's beak. I've almost got it. 
The instruction said once I have my spoons put together, I need to put the face on my eagle. Now, if you have permanent markers, they're going to work better. So I have my permanent black Sharpie that I'm gonna use to put my eagle's eyes on. So I'm gonna put an eyeball. He's gonna need an eyeball about there. And another eyeball on the other side about there. So I have my eagle's eyes on. Now if I had a yellow or an orange Sharpie, I would use that to make the beak, but I don't have those colors in Sharpie. So I'm gonna try it with my Crayola markers. I don't think it's gonna work very well because I think Crayola markers are washable and they'll just wash off, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna make, how do I wanna make his beak? Make a triangle beak on there. Oh, maybe it'll work. Just try it with your markers. Do you see how I'm making his triangle beak? Coloring it in. Ooh, his beak's getting really big. There, he's got his eyes, he's got his beak. I don't know if they have little nose holes in their beaks or not, but I'm gonna give him two little nose holes. One there, one there, and there. Okay, pretty easy. We have our eagle's head put together. Now we have to attach the eagle's head to the body. And it says, tape the spoons to the back of the eagle so the rubber band and spoon bull face stick out. Be liberal with the tape. So I have to tape that to that. So I'm gonna try to line it up. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna set mine on the table so I can work with it because I'm going to be taping all of this onto the wings. So, if you notice, I ran out of tape on my stick. Hopefully, I yeah, put more, the, more tape than that on your sticks. You should hopefully have enough to do this. So I'm gonna use this last little piece, and I'm gonna just... <laughs> I'm gonna tape that part. Oh, I want him farther back. I want my head farther back. So I have to look at this and see where I want it to go. Ooh, I think that's it. What do you think? His head's a little crooked. Oh, see, I'm smearing my orange. I don't want him to be crooked. So I'm once again gonna set him down on the table. I'm gonna straighten him out. No, oh, I need more tape. That tape didn't work. Boy, I hope I gave you guys enough tape. I want a nice chunk. If I didn't give you enough tape, hopefully you have enough to get him started and you can add more tape. Okay. Here we go, eagle. I want to make sure I keep it centered because I don't want my eagle to be too crooked. Okay, that's where I think I want you. I'm gonna put tape there, tape there, okay. There we go. See how I got it taped? It says be liberal, so I'm gonna add some more tape. I'm gonna add another piece. I didn't get my tape very tight up top. I wanna make sure you gotta get it in there tight because you don't want it to move. So I'm gonna put another piece of tape on here. I don't want my spoons to fall off. There we go. I think that's gonna work. I think that's pretty good. I have blue tape over here that's bothering me, so let me move you. I think I have an eagle. I think I have it made. Ooh! My marble got stuck. There! I have the tail feathers glued onto the wingspan. Not glued on, taped on. I've got the head taped on. Pretty good. You have your eagle. <gasps> now comes the test. Is our eagle gonna fly? I don't know. I'm kind of afraid. I think he's pretty heavy. I don't know if he's gonna fly very far or not. You're not gonna be able to see him flying unless I get way back. Let's get way back. Let's 
scooting my chair way back. Can I fly him towards you? Ow! That was pretty heavy. He just went diving. Let's try it again. I'm gonna fly him towards you. Ooh, he made a land and went sliding. Let me go get him. Come back, Eagle. Come back. Whoosh. Flying back in. Okay. I wonder if I point him up. Can I point him up? <laughs> he goes right down. Oh my goodness, I don't know if this is a very good flying eagle or not. I think he is too heavy. But he's pretty cool. He looks pretty cool. He looks like an eagle. Okay, let's try it again. I'm gonna fly him towards you. <gasps> Ooh, he stayed on the table this time. He did a loop-de-loop. -loop. I wonder what would happen if you got it outside in the wind. I'm looking out this, the window and I do see the trees are blowing. It is windy. I wonder what would happen if you actually took him outside and he got some wind under his wings. Would that help him fly? It could be fun to find out. And then you and your friends can make sure you put your name on your eagle so you know which one is yours and see if you can have eagle flying races. See if it'll go. I'm wondering if you could find lighter marbles. If a lighter marble, I just feel like he's too heavy. I'm wondering if a lighter marble would work or even not even putting any marble in there. Maybe I do wanna take my marble out. Let's just take my marble out. Okay, whoops, my marble's moving. Now I've got, ooh, he's lighter. He's lighter, I wonder if he will fly without the marble. I think the marble is supposed to help give him direction. Let's see. He did a loop-de-loo there. I'm not throwing him very hard because I don't want to knock you over. I kind of like him better without the marble. Maybe the trick is to not have the marble on there. Maybe you can play around with it. Maybe we don't need two spoons together. Maybe it's lighter with just one spoon and that'll really help him fly. But maybe he does need the two spoons to give him a little lift. I hope you will put together your bald eagle and try him out. See what works. It can be a science experiment. Do I need, oh, what if I would have turned, I put my wings up. What if I would have put the paper plate the other way? What if I would have turned the wings that way and it would have the air coming under in the little pocket? If I turn him this way, would this make a difference? Of course, I got his head on top, so that's not, I would want the head on the bottom. Maybe that makes a difference. Maybe I want it instead of having, I was thinking having the wing, the wind under his wings, but maybe I would rather have it this way with his wings catching the air underneath. I'm not throwing him very far. Try it out. Do some experimenting with your bald eagles and see what happens. Now, if you have signed up for the summer reading program on Read Squared, if you don't know about it, I have these sheets. Here is our story times. It tells you each day I'm doing story time. It tells you what the theme is. We have Facebook Live. We are live at Rally Point. It tells you all of that. And on the back is the summer reading portion. If you want to count the books you read, and get a thousand points. You get points for the books you read, you get points for doing the crafts, you get points for coming to story time. There are several other missions on Read Squared you get points for. When you get a thousand points, you've completed the program and you're eligible for prizes. Now, this tells you how to sign up on Read Squared. And if you're watching this craft video, you can get 50 points just for showing me your eagle. If you sign up on Read Squared, make your account, and you go into logging, or you, you sign into your account, and you, um, I should look at that again. I'm, can't, I'm not sure if you can do it from the logging button on top or if you have to do the logging button on the left-hand side. But if you go into logging, there should be a place that says, all these different missions and one of them is do i have bald eagle craft or is it just any craft anyway you will find i forgot i should have looked this up a little bit better find the craft video you get 50 points for doing this 
and I ask you to upload a picture of what you've made. So take a picture, upload it to that mission, send it in, you will get 50 points. If you don't know how to take a picture or you can't take the picture and upload it, bring your eagle into the library, do a show and tell. We will see it and then we will upload the picture to your account for you so you can get 50 points for doing the bald eagle. This is just week one. Each week on Wednesdays from June 2nd today till June or July 14th, there will be craft videos. You, if you don't do this one and you don't turn it in, that's okay. Maybe you'll do the next craft video and get you 50 points. You have seven different ones to try. You can make all of them or you can make the ones you want. But find out the crafts, pick up the craft supplies at the library or at the story hours in the grab and go bags. I didn't bring a grab and go bag with me, but inside the grab and go bag, it has lots of other things to do. It has songs and, and rhymes that we did at story times. It tells you how to make beaver dam cookies. Maybe you'd like to do a little bit of cooking this summer. Make some beaver dam cookies. It has some um, a website you can go to to do some online jigsaw puzzles. You could try out making a beaver dam out of Legos. Could you make a beaver dam that would stop the water with the Legos? There are words, there's a word search, there's a maze, there's a story you can write. There's so many things in that grab and go bag along with your craft. So each week there'll be another one. So that means I get to come back and see you next Wednesday with our craft. And I'm not sure what it is yet. Next week is animals from South America. I'm looking at sloths. I'm looking at llamas. I'm looking at Galapagos tortoises. I'm looking at, oh, I can't even remember all of them. Toucans. So there will be another craft next week in the grab and go bag. I'll be back on Wednesday at one o'clock to do the craft with you, show you how to do it, and we'll just have some summer fun with our tales and tales. Have a great day. I'll see you next week. Bye.